Right, good morning. Uh, my name is David and today uh, I am running a, um, a, another session of um, Fellowship in Rebellion. Uh, so um, uh, Fellowship is a game by uh, Jacob Randolph, um, which is, uh, it's a Power by the Apocalypse game about playing a bunch of, um, a bunch of heroes in a, uh, in a uh, fantasy world fighting against, uh, fighting against oppression. Um, in this specific case, we're using the uh, the In Rebellion playbook, which which reframes that struggle as as rather than kind of your 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 um, fighting Sauron, it's more uh, fighting the Empire. Um, in uh, In Star Wars, it's uh, it's that, that sort of taking on the uh, the big big organization as a bunch of uh, ragtag rebels. So, um, and we are specifically playing um, with um, a group of uh, of um, uh, sort of younger, you know, sort of teen characters in in, in a sort of a young adult avatar Shira style. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of what we're uh, we're looking at. Um, this game is being run as part of the Gauntlet, um, this which is an online uh, role playing game community. They uh, there's more information on the website at gauntlet-rpg.com, but we. Um, and we basically get together to play games like this. We've also got some, uh, we've got a zine, we've got some podcasts, all of that. This is uh, this is our fifth session, I want to say, in the in the run. Now we're about halfway through our run. Um, so uh, you know, if if you if this is the first episode you're watching, I would uh, would suggest going back and watching an earlier one. Um, we uh, I'll just quickly go through the safety tools we'll be using today, and then we'll get into uh, introducing all of our players. Uh, so yeah, we'll be as ever. We'll be using the X card, um, uh, which you can invoke by by putting an X in chat, by by holding up hands in X formation, or by um, uh, just calling out in chat. Um, any of those is fine. If something comes up that you are unhappy with, um, and and you know we want to want to uh, leave out, move past. Uh, we'll also be using the script change tool. Um, uh, I won't go into a full full thing, so I've I've, I've I, I know everyone here is aware of it, and we've got the documentation there. But uh, as ever, if you um, if you wish to use that, um, uh, any of those um, tools at any point, always feel free to do so. And in fact, I would encourage you to do so if if you, uh, if you feel the need, whether that be because of, you know of like uncomfortable content or just just because you want you know tone or 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 um, uh, anything else is is all good. So, uh, with all that, I will um, ask my players to um, introduce themselves and tell me a little bit about their characters. Um, so, yeah, my name is, uh, as, as I said, my name is David. I use, I use he, him pronouns, and we'll start, as ever, in, in character keeper order. Uh, so, Stephen, if you'd like to introduce uh, yourself and your character. Uh, hey there, I'm Steven, and in spite of what I'm named there, I am playing Ossian he, him. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm up now for some reason, presumably to play this game. Uh, uh, yeah, Ossian is a uh, former Moon Prince. Uh, maybe somehow related to the moon maybe somehow related to uh the moon as i as to the to the now di got disappeared moon maybe as related to the fact that i can turn into a giant wolf of light uh i'm not sure if we've seen uh sibylla turn into her elemental form yet uh but i did but... use the power to help um caliban last time so in your own okay <laughs> okay uh, but yeah, that is, uh, yep, I'm being pursued by Caliban. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, Jamie, if you'd like to, uh, um, introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, so I'm Jamie, uh, they, them pronouns, and I'm playing Sabala, who is the dragon. Uh, specifically, they are a hatchling, a newborn, and uh, they've been learning a lot. They've been growing. Uh, I think maybe Sabala looks a little older now. Um, we'll see, sort of like in Shira, how they look a little older in between um, episodes or seasons sometimes. Uh, but she may regress and turn younger again. I, I, I don't know yet. So. <laughs> Uh, but just Savala, Steven Universe. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, but Savala is, um, yeah, Savala really went out on a limb last time to really prove 
to Calvin that they really see them as a friend. Uh, so um, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, so we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, Savila is going to be learning a lot more about what happened to the dragons, uh, what their place in the world is now, and what the future looks like, I think. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, and um, uh, Alex, um, if you'd like to uh, like to do your introductions. Yeah, uh, I'm Alex. Uh, he, him, or they, them pronouns. Uh, I'm playing the young wizard Phaethon, the Harbinger playbook. And uh, if, if Ossian is sort of the, the wisdom of the group and Sabla is the heart, then Phaethon is the snark. Um, and he's definitely not very sure about this whole Caliban is actually a friend thing. You're the brooding silence of the group. I got a lot less silent last time, uh, and that I felt was working better. Uh, okay. So I kind of want to pivot to a more of a Sokka energy. It was an incredible amount of snark, yes. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. And last but not least, um, uh, Dave, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm playing the uh, hero Caliban, trying to make sure that uh, Sabla and Ossian are kept away from the evil crutches, uh, sorry, clutches of, of Fabian. <coughs> uh, I'm playing the uh, Nemesis uh, playbook, but last time, after the kindness of, of Salaban and okay, sorry, of Sabla, uh, we managed to figure out that there's something wrong at the heart of the Empire. So uh, I am though I'm playing the Nemesis, it can switch into the Redeemed playbook, which means that currently on Fellowship side, hey, it's a little like um, uh, Catra switching uh, affinity, um, you know, every episode until the end. But I won't spoil that. Um, yeah, so effectively, I, uh, we have we have uncovered there is something odd happening at the heart of the empire and the gilded swan is behind it all so um hopefully we're going to find out more about uh that today and uh yeah move ourselves to the heart of what's been happening brilliant thank you very much um so yeah i'll just do a very brief recap on, on where we left things last time um so uh or at least to, to the best of my understanding um we uh, the the fellowship had been uh, traveling to the um uh, to the coral islands um to uh to see what was going on there and, and potentially recruit some help um uh, they had been beset by by pirates upon the way, um, but but managed to make it to the island mostly intact. However, Caliban had uh, arrived at the island before them and turned the um, uh, turned Princess uh, Princess Naker, one of the um, oh, the 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 war leader of the island, um, against them. Um, uh, the, the there was a uh, some identity confusion, a brief imprisonment um, before. Um, they, uh, during which time um, Caliban had managed to uh, capture Ossian um, and was, was preparing to return with him to the capital. Uh, though the, um, um, the, there was then a confrontation between, um, uh, between uh, the remaining members of the fellowship, so between um, uh, Faith and, and Savila, uh, and um, Caliban, which was interrupted by the um, uh, the arrival of Gilded Swan, the leader of the Ordo Noctis, um, who who uh, um, confused matters, shall we say? Um, and the where we last uh, where we last saw um, everyone was, was standing on top of a cliff um, uh, on the Coral Islands, I believe. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think I'd like to um, I think I'd like to kind of jump back in onto that scene if people uh, are happy to do that. And and um, we we obviously had that that sort of initial moment of um, reconciliation, perhaps too strong a word for it at the uh, at the end of last time. But yeah, I think I'd like to sort of see just a little bit of everyone together before uh, before you decide what you're going to do next. Hadn't we departed, or hadn't Caliban left, I believe? Possibly, possibly. Um, Happy to wreck on it if, if that's what we want to do. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, that's what happened, but I'm happy to move forward to like a later time also. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, that, yeah, I whatever. Remember, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I remember um, Calvin was like saying, when, when we will be called upon, we should be ready, um, and that they will pave the way first or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to uh, move forward to a time where we are back in or returning to the empire yeah uh, sure thing that sounds good yeah no i'm happy for it to like yeah frame up frame up the scene um um when once we're well yeah it said once you're back in in the empire if you like that's cool uh are we so do you want someone to, to frame the scene then david or yes but yeah yeah please if someone has an idea for where they would like to um uh this to be taking place um so i think if this let's sort of maybe move it a, a few weeks down uh the line where, where i think caravan left in an airship and you folks will have to make your way back in right to the empire so um this would probably be a what's the equivalent to a, a a coffee shop but possibly something like that where where um ossian and caliban may have hung out when they were kids but probably shouldn't have been here so we snuck into the lower ends of the the city um so there are equivalent looking teenagers of all sorts of different um species here having um uh, uh malted milkshakes and equivalents thereof and bubble tea yeah I, I was gonna say i like the idea of it being that kind of um you know like still still in keeping with the the general sort of classical aesthetics of the um uh, of, of the empire as a whole but with also that kind of like cod 50s you know diner um slash beatnik coffee shop ambience going on oh god it's got like the the little like neon highlights but instead of neon they're like moonlight <laughs> uh and just like that color scheme uh yeah the symbol is like a crescent a crescent moon and uh you know uh, someone kicking their hands off the back of it you know feet off the back of it but it's 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 a uh, it's it's where it's where the kids cool kids go um almost undoubtedly this is like where ossian would have gone um because uh ossian is cool and caliban wasn't caliban was gonna do books um um so i think yeah caliban has has um um probably contacted i think he probably contacted um um Faithian because the other two, you know, they, 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 if you can convince Faithian, then maybe um, the other two will come. Probably not the other way around. So I think it's a Faithian. It is. It is um, uh, uh, now. Now is the time. Uh, come to my side. <laughs> uh, and then you can see this sort of pondering on on Caliban's face as he was doting this this letter, and then realizes he should write please question mark at the end. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you, uh, you're just writing this letter. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll like be sent the, to you by some, yeah, literally, yeah, but sent to some sort of you know, by some sort of mystical means, I imagine. Um, yeah, like, no, I think. Uh, sorry, did you have? No, 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 go. On. Uh, yeah, I think. Um, I, I, I think, basically, uh, a line appears. Uh, if you're sending it mystically, like a line appears uh, below the line you wrote. Um, uh, you know, I'm not sure of the specific wording, but like, you know, cautious and asking for details. Um, I think there is... Um... Have found 
have found a weakness in Gilded Swan's uh, defences. <clears throat> Need, and you can see, it's just like the, I suppose it's like, if, if it was just a text message, you can see the three dots and a word keeps being written and scrubbed out and written, scrubbed out. So, Need friends to help me. Where you at? Uh, no, um, well, maybe. <laughs> said, um, tell, tell Ossian to meet us where uh, our mother forbade us to go. Um, I'm going to scratch out and go, mm, there are probably lots of places we forbade to go where they make the best milkshakes in the city. All right, cool. <laughs> Uh, are the are the milkshakes literal or a metaphor? I don't know. Mm. I understand your question. <laughs> is is that to me or to or to? Oh, uh, that's to Caliban. <laughs> okay. Uh. Never mind. Uh, so Austin like is telling me. <laughs> so there, 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 are, there, there are milkshakes uh, he'll start writing out the, the recipes uh or the descriptions into a note <clears throat> yeah never mind ossian is telling me uh to relay uh to, to, to tell them what uh you're saying so uh and then faith and uh logs off and does that um hey caliban uh wants us to meet at your special milkshake place. Oh, is he still calling it that? <laughs> yes. I... <sighs> okay, okay, we can, we can manage this. <laughs> I'll let you all do the talking. I'll be on guard. Right, well, I think that, um, I think that, I think that for Ossian, it's it like this place is is like just a tiny bit less special for him than it was for for Caliban. Um, uh, but um, God, I almost want to go through like a montage where like while you're waiting at this place that the three of us are just like walking around the city going into like three other milkshake places and being like, <laughs> hmm, no, no, not here. <laughs> and then, and there are three different places and we each disagree on which one's the best one. We each have an opinion. <laughs> And then, like, we see you waiting at the bar of, like, the fourth place, and then when we all kind of, like, hurriedly throw away the milkshakes we're carrying with us. <laughs> Faithen, uh, does not is not finished and does not want to, and Sabla makes him. Oh, no, I think Sabla uh, will take it and drink uh, yeah. it for you. Or there, that works, too, yeah. <laughs> and then throw it away. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you 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 will will enter this place, um, and I would like to ask um, uh, Ossian um, actually, what uh, what's what sort of um, um, what sort of um, evidence or signs or or, or, or just like um, aesthetics do we see here about like the um, uh, the the empire's like counterculture? Um, as I think these are probably kind of your your people here, you know, not not necessarily rebels in the actual um, fighting in the street sense of the word, but certainly I think it is a kind of um, yeah countercultural type hangout. Hmm. Oh. 
Yeah, I think that like, like I kind of feel like perhaps, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like if if Dave uh, Caliban, but like are the style like what are the styles kind of favored by like the Empire like like the Empire mainstream? I think the Empire mainstream is possibly let's if we haven't seen it the the in the in the the upper reaches of the city the style is uh, fantasy art deco. <clears throat> so it, it's lines and angles and modern the the darkness and the little the light that the upper city has it sort of reflects and shines for ever to be seen. But here in the outskirts, further down, it's more <clears throat> it's it's more uh, it's more well it's in the shadows. So I think this is possibly if this was more important to Caliban than it was to Ossian, I'm thinking that maybe this was where um, uh, you know, geeky academics hung out to talk philosophy. Like, um, you know, maybe it, it's an equivalent of like a uh, a beat poetry bar where where um, uh, university students come to be uh, dissidents. Should, yeah, and I should note that it is that when I say less important, it's because I know of all the milkshake bars in the city, <laughs> whereas mm -hmm. this is perhaps the only one you ever go to. Once you have found perfection, why search for other milkshakes? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I feel like in in the lower city, and particularly among um, the counterculture, I almost feel like they're like the kind of uh, fabric that is favored is kind of something called like noctis fabric, and and it can only be woven in in like total darkness because any any light it comes into contact with. It just absorbs and like slowly kind of turns off color the more it's in the light. Um, and so it's kind of a favored of of like the lower of the lower of, in the lower uh, cities where where the light is less um, uh, uh, is less is less uh, available to begin with. Awesome. Yeah, I like that. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, so, um, as I say, yeah, it's, it's kind of got that, um, you know, moody, uh, moody lighting in here, I think, kind of, yeah, so that, that, that you know, the sort of like, you know, neonish um, lights that are used for lighting on the streets, but they, these are very much, um, you know, it's probably lots of like, uh, probably lots of like blue tones in the um, in the 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 um, um, in the lighting design for this particular uh, this this particular scene. Um, almost that like, you know, the 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 the, the lighting that they use in like, uh, or say lighting, but you know, the 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 color scheme they use in cartoons for denoting that it is night. Um, by by just having a lot of blue lighting on it, basically, um, uh, and yeah, it's it's a sort of young crowd in here, um, uh, a, a mix oh. of oh yeah, yeah, go for it. I was just thinking of a random thing, and let me throw this by you, uh, Caliban. But like, what if like the obscure arcane magics of this place, like light, is literally like flows upward in the city, so that like the upper level of the city, it's always day, whereas the lower levels, it's always night. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I, th I think that's sort of what I was uh, aiming for description. So yeah, absolutely. It's sort of all, all of the light um, is, is hoarded by uh, the empire. Cool. But yes, um, yeah, you, you'll be, be kind of, um, you know, you 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 maybe maybe stick out a little bit in here, but not as much as you might in, in other places uh, in in the empire. Um, um, but yeah, I think uh, you know, with, with without uh, there, there there will be no particular uh, difficulty um, in in finding uh, in finding Caliban here, unless Caliban wishes to make it so. But uh, um, oh, sorry, your um. 
Cal- Caliban will be in disguise. So having a prince of the realm turn up here is probably, uh, uh, and meet with rebels is probably, uh, even from Caliban's hubris, a little too much. So he is disguised uh, as, as uh, um, someone they will recognize, which is Gustav the Baker Boy. It was Gustav, I think, wasn't it? Hans. Hans the Baker. Gustav was the Baker. Hans, yeah. So he is described as Hans the Baker Boy. Yeah, I think uh, the moment Sabla sees Hans, uh, they'll be like, yeah, Hans! <laughs> like, switching from. <laughs> and then just rush over. So to clarify, has Sabilla just forgotten that Caliban is Hans? Or, or, is, this, or is this like you greeting him in disguise? <laughs> Well, it was more like I was trying to say, I was trying to scream Caliban at first and realize they were in disguise and changed it to Hans mid Okay. And now his, so now the name is Hans. <laughs> hey there, Cams. Uh, nice to see you, Farthian. Hello, uh, Hans? <laughs> <clears throat> well, hello, stranger. <clears throat> oh, stranger, yes. Hi, my <clears throat> name is... And then I turn. Should we have fake names? Is this a secret mission? My name is already a fake name. Oh, You can just be Faison, I whisper to Sibylla. <laughs> Yes, I am Phaethon! And then I start putting on this brooding face. Mm. Snark, snark. <laughs> hmm. Yes. This makes sense. He said, that Phaethon, that is one to be feared. <laughs> yes. And I'm just like stars all around me. And Hi, I'm Savala! <laughs> Uh, Phaethon tries to like do that bit, but he can't keep up like that level of uh, uh, positivity for like more than a second. Uh, why don't we take a seat and order from the best milkshakes in the city? Here, they make it from uh, um, spider's milk. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, I remember all of that. <sighs> and then I think Sabala's going to lean over. How, how do they milk the spiders? <clears throat> With their hands. And then you see Sabala trying to <laughs> figure it out. I wasn't sure you would come. I mean, we, we definitely knew the way here. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, this is the best um, spider shake in town. Yes, absolutely. I've heard all about it. He won't stop talking about his fond memories of the place. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's a rare time where I and my brother could be together without the um, without other eyes upon us. Must have been nice. <clears throat> it was. Wasn't it? And he looks at Ossian uh, uh, expectantly. I, I blush a little. I kind of look down at the milkshake and sip at it and say, yes. It was. <laughs> I still enough of this uh, uh, friendly chatter. Uh, I wouldn't want us to get overly uh, emotional um, and uh, exactly, roughly about yes. this. 
who who knows? And you know, we are well established that knows that 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 uh, faithianism might become stressed at such emotions. Looking Excuse at... me. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> said... I do not deal with emotions oh, I mean... well. It is correct. Yes, they are difficult for me. Except my love for Sabla. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think anyone who's paying attention will will note uh, uh, Caliban's hands uh, tightening around the uh, glass. I mean, same. Phaethon is literally vibrating with like. Asin is just starting. Asin feels like he should be doing this at this point, so he just starts kind of glowering at everyone in his imitation of of Caliban. <laughs> Um, can I check with David? Do you want to give me something that is a hook or an evidence to drag it together, or do you want me to sort of make something up? What, why have I called everyone here? Um, yeah, so um, I, I think um, I think yeah, if if you um, um, I think you mentioned um, uh, about having a um, a way uh, as having discovered a weakness or a potential weakness um, in in um, uh, mm -hmm. Gilded Swan's okay. defences. So now I'm happy to run with that. Um. He points across, or to nod, nods his head slightly across to someone dressed in uh, 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 an apprentice set of Harbringer's robes, sitting across from here. Uh, they're they're uh, in a heated conversation about uh, uh, a recent political play. <clears throat> Whilst uh, Caliban says. Uh, I have identified that that one has a loose tongue and also keys uh, into the libraries. <clears throat> Said, I have decided to do this the right way, nods, and seek uh, a way to uh, gather the keys uh, and turn them to your cause rather than cracking their mind like an egg and stealing the secrets with the powers that I possess. That, uh, that sounds yeah. nice. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, yes, that's good. <clears throat> False arms looks uh, looks uh, uh, validated that they have done the right thing. <laughs> I good good work on the the, the not cracking over in someone's head. <laughs> <laughs> I I congratulate faith on every time and I kind of awkwardly like who am I supposed to be pointing to now <laughs> <laughs> every every day they they go without without uh, doing so yes it is difficult to not crush people with my uh, <laughs> power but um, getting more difficult every day yes yes you would know Sabala <laughs> You also have a great amount of power. Yes. <laughs> and that shade of color looks wonderful on you. Yes, it, it is well known, uh, Faithian, that your brooding eyebrows can crush rocks. <laughs> yes, and turn coal into diamond. I work on it in, a, in front of a mirror when no one's looking. So, how can we get... Uh, um, I haven't got a name yet. I'm going to go to fantasy name generator. How can we get uh, this individual? And he points to. Um, has anyone got a name? Uh oh, the the apprentice. Yeah. Um, Uh, I'm going to use. Uh, how can we get uh, in the points at? Um, how can we get Nepta uh, to tell us without me cracking their skull? For by the time the moon rises, uh, sorry, I won't say the moon rises. The time the sand uh, uh, turns, I feel that um, um, the subtle ways may have exhausted itself, and I will go back to the cracking of heads. Have, have you tried? Have you tried talking to her? I I know the last time you tried talking to a girl, Caliban, you came home crying, but 
Really? I mean, <laughs> whom, really? whom is this Caliban that you speak of? <laughs> Sorry, cans, cans, right. <laughs> <laughs> you said you would never bring that up again uh, and, and the, the darkness in the room I think fluctuates slightly <laughs> right 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 I if you can't take a little gentle ribbing this might not be the group for you <laughs> as I've found out I, yeah. I guess, I guess, like Ossian is kind of looking at the look on your face at the moment, like hmm, Cal Caliban is Caliban is is, is sort of uh, it's high, it's, 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 there's probably slight cracks on on the milkshake glass now that it's holding. It's trying to keep they're trying to keep their their calm and understand how this all works without erupting and destroying them all. <clears throat> I will do better, Sabala. Thank you for your kind words and heart-shaped eyes. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna turn over. Like, we're all friendship. Shape. We're all friendship and love and smiles here. So, <laughs> mm, and that is why we do not crack people's skulls and draw in, drink their memories. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Learning. Yeah, so, I mean, geez, we can just go talk to her, like, I, it's, that, it's okay yes, if you don't want to do that. That was my uh, suggestion. Hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's okay if you want to sit, sit this one out, uh, cans, but, uh, I, no, here's kidding. an idea, what if I coach you? you through talking to her oh, no. <laughs> that's a great idea absolutely <laughs> i you, broodingly you approve would, you <laughs> Matt, would be my wingman uh, <sighs> yes <laughs> mm. <clears throat> i I had it in my mind's eye thought that Sabala, and it's, it was also I think Caliban's also confused which Sabala he's speaking about now would have used <laughs> their would have used their power of speech to motivate them and give up their secrets. But if you think me talking to them romantically will help, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Although faith on. Uh, you know, would also definitely warn you that uh, the Harbingers have some awfully specific courtship rituals. Yeah, and, and Ossian definitely was not saying romantically, but you but, know what? You're not talking about, like, cracking open someone's head and devouring their memories, so he's going to go with this. <laughs> Uh, that can, that can, in itself yeah. is a victory. <laughs> um, can, can I? Uh, can, can we like drop the whole pretending to be each other thing for a second, so I can, uh, sort of, you know, brief you on what you need to know to avoid. I think like, Caliban started to take off. Very literally. I mean, taking her off. <laughs> yeah, Caliban started to take this very literally before realizing what you were doing. And you can see the disguise start uh, whispering away from them. Uh, and then suddenly he pulls it back, realizing that you meant um, metaphorically rather than tearing off the disguise and revealing himself to be Caliban. <laughs> Nods. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and, and Phaethon just launches into like a very long and detailed description of like. Uh, how it is appropriate for uh h how it is appropriate for a uh harbinger to approach another how it is appropriate for a harbinger to uh receive like uh you know a suitor um 
It, just like all the it, all these very like it, you know like since you're not pretending to be a harbinger like uh not not telling you what like you would need to do harbinger things but just like you know a laundry <laughs> list of things not to do uh to like uh and to uh <clears throat> expect that you will need to do at some point Give I, three I things, could because I, I do could. want to. I do want to play off this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Three things. I'll note them down. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you. Uh, you cannot speak to them. You. Uh, a harbinger, a harbinger is not allowed to receive uh, outside and like an outsider's advance uh, without uh, first accepting a uh, offering of some kind, uh, like a drink. Um, so uh, bring flowers, or or yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's one. Um, or bread. Bread is really good. Bread is a great gift. <clears throat> uh, oh, I will found a bakery, recruit uh, the greatest cats. bakers in the land, and learn over these many nights to break the perfect loaf. Uh, the first date can only be on a Tuesday. Um, and but today has, is a Tuesday! And it has to... Uh, Begin after 5 p.m. and end before 8 p.m. Um, and uh, the hmm, the and and the harbinger will instruct the outsider on what to wear for the day. <laughs> hmm. Going to bed because by it 8 depends. PM. Yeah, because it depends on the alignment of the stars and all that. Uh, what exactly uh, it's supposed to be wearing? This makes sense. The harbingers need to be in bed by nine p.m. This is why they are such weenies. <laughs> you won't hear me disagreeing. Uh. He, he gets cranky if we let him stay up past 10. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So I think we will take our, uh, we'll take our first break now. Um, so yeah, I think actually if we take maybe a 10 minute break for this one and then, uh, yeah, come back at, uh, well, in 10 minutes time. Um, so cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, so. Uh, welcome back, and um, we'll um, we'll 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 um, I think uh, leap in uh, with the the, the um, ongoing scene of uh, um, attempting to uh, uh, charm um, uh, the apprentice Nepta. So um, yeah, uh, I should warn you the fact that oh sorry, no. uh, oh I should warn you the fact that she uh, has her bootlaces tied left over right instead of right over left indicates she might be a bit of a rebel. Nice, nice. Uh, so yes, um, I, I think Nepta is there with, um, I think the the uh, other people that she's uh, like at the table with aren't, um, are probably not other harbingers, but they are kind of, um, clearly you can tell from the clothes they're wearing, they are, um, they are sort of members of the nobility um, or the upper classes, uh, slumming it down here. Um, they, you know, again, they are, they're, they're, they're of an age, they are probably, um, they're probably also, they're, they're, well, they're not, not apprentices of the Ordo Noctis, they're always certainly kind of students of some variety. Um, um, but yes, uh, they are, um, they're sat around the table, as, as, as uh, was mentioned. They're sort of having, you know, in in heated, uh, heated discussion over, um, you know, this 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 most recent play um, that's uh, 
that they've all been to see. Um, Nepta, I think um, because she is an apprentice, um, Nepta doesn't have like a, um, a full face covering mask. She's just got kind of this sort of, um, Venetian mask style that just covers the top uh, top half of her face. Um, So I think spotting spotting this scene, uh, um, Caliban realizes that dressing as a, a as a dusty baker's boy is not going to cut it. So uh, heads to the bathroom, and uh, we see them uh, take off uh, Hans's face and puts on uh, a mask of uh, a minor noble that. Um, um, uh, had frustrated uh, and annoyed uh, Caliban um, uh, a few series back and there's a sort of glimpse of this magic and shadow whooping around them and he now looks more appropriate with a similar looking mask on their face out of a, of a courtier. Nice, nice. <clears throat> uh, I think he will walk out uh, towards them, uh, winking at the other uh, three, so they know it is Caliban in a new disguise. <clears throat> Austin gives a very, uh, like, he gives a, a, a it's, it's sort of, he does it because one has to, but he is not feeling good about this plan, even though it <laughs> is his. <laughs> <laughs> Baithan just shakes his head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if this was someone that in the past that uh, Ossian knew as well. <clears throat> but he will approach the table <clears throat> uh, and um, look at them all. Um, yeah, and I think, um, uh, you know, um, um, uh, Nepta does that sort of thing. Right? She's obviously um talking about something and just kind of like trails off and just kind of looks up and says yes uh can i help you <clears throat> i too have seen your play uh this play and, and i i was wondering if i may join your conversation um i think i think she maybe gives like a a bit of uh a little bit of an eye roll, but um, but but you know there is like a there is an empty chair um, at their table, um, and she says, oh, "Well, yes, I suppose you might you may um, if you uh, if you wish." Um, have we met before? Perhaps I am uh, I am a courtier uh, of the Moon Prince. My name was uh, is is Rudyard. Uh, and uh, I uh, was a playwright. I wrote satires, uh, right, satires that that um, uh, would put uh, and uh, insult the royal family. <laughs> it's so funny to insult the royal family. They never overreact. Yes, well, um, I, I don't believe I've, um, I've heard any of your work, but well, Perhaps that shall, uh, when, perhaps um, one day I, I shall have the pleasure of seeing something of yours uh, on the stage. Uh, but as I was saying, I think the, 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 um, uh, the themes of, um, of this play and the, um, uh, the, um, the, the, the symbolism of the, um, of, of the, uh, um, uh, of the of the main uh, of the main character's uh, uh, descent into uh, into madness it only only goes to show the um, uh, the the uh, foolishness of, of attempting to um, um, live up to the uh, the expectations of um, of of, uh, uh, of of modern life here in the city and um, uh, don't don't you agree? Hmm. But surely the play reflects uh, the painful choices that one must make between uh, the traditions and the safety of the city and its people and the power that we possess over the uh, um, 
over the, uh, uh, the freedom that one may choose, you can go your own way, but to do so must betray those that you love. Hmm. Yes, I, I suppose um, I suppose you do have a point there. The um, the 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 the, the um, uh, it's um, it does uh, it does does have have those those elements to it. I, I suppose. Of course, um, I I, uh, I think that's maybe a little literal a reading of it, but um, well, it's 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 certainly the uh, the, the um, it's certainly uh, a fitting uh, um, a fitting description, I suppose. Um, I think over on the table, people can note when she says that that there's a twitch in Caliban's eyes. Um, but it, it is a shame that you have not read any of my work. Uh, I'm going to use my cunning trick um, thing on my sheet, which is I always have something at hand. Uh, I mark one of those off and then provide. Uh, just so happened to have uh, one of Rudyard's satires. Um, yeah. I think when you like reach into your coat, everyone at our table <laughs> is like secretly reaching for a weapon. <laughs> Like, uh, and then that bang. At this point of where he's, the reveal is, it's a, uh, a vellum scroll. Here, I, I present to you a uh, my play, which is uh, a, a, a satire of the Moon Prince Caliban. Sparks in the teeth. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Um... Well, I suppose I shall, um, I shall uh, give it a, um, I shall give it a read uh, then. Um, thank you, Rudyard. And she kind of, she does, um, uh, she does kind of glance over it and, um, uh, you know, m maybe like the leaf's over the first page or so, but she, you know, she just sort of puts it down uh, next to her for now. Um, um, Perhaps we could read it together on a Tuesday between 5 and 8 p.m. <laughs> oh my, oh Judge, you are rather forward, aren't you? <laughs> I always get what I want. No, put that voice away, put that voice away. Use the good voices, what Caliban sort of thought bubbles to say. <laughs> Well, it's um, it's certainly uh, it's certainly not usual that um, um, that uh, strange men uh, come up to me in um, in coffee shops and tell me about the script they're working on. But um, I, I suppose um, uh, I, su I suppose maybe maybe we could have a look through this together. It doesn't you know, work more... in Hollywood. <laughs> Um, we, uh, um, uh, I, uh, I think actually, uh, I'm going to ask at this point, um, for a, um, uh, what's the, what's the move called? Um, uh, for a talk sense role. Um, I think that's probably the closest uh, the closest thing here to trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, woo um, uh, Nepta. Um, I'm going so, to ask though if if um, uh, if uh, anyone wishes to kind of uh, whisper some words of encouragement um, uh, to um, um, uh, to to, Ka uh, to Calvin as uh, as he is doing so. You're doing terrible. Do this instead. <laughs> No, no, no. Just remember, no cracking open heads. You're doing a great job. Really proud of you. <laughs> and then Sabala like smiles. Yeah, really great. 
<clears throat> oh man, I just kind of want to do now like a, a, like a if this goes well like a journey but with like playing out the parts of their date as like we're hanging around in the background <laughs> like perfect yeah, playing wingman. Cool. Uh, I, I just said the fact that she hasn't been here and, 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 and doesn't read plays with playwrights in this bar makes Caliban believe she's a poser and probably does deserve to die. But <laughs> we'll deal with that at a later point. <laughs> fair, um, fair. Um, so, yeah. yeah uh, so, um, oops, sorry. So, yeah, you will be rolling with hope for, for the assistance from your, your, your allies, uh, wing manning mm -hmm. you. Um, what are the options? So, I, I would suggest that I am, I am uh, appealing to their emotions and their desires. Um, you to rule. Uh, actually, I can't do that because I haven't got wisdom. No. <laughs> Although um, I was going to say actually grace might be, be an appropriate yeah. one too because it's... It, it, Tricks them, yeah. yeah. Exactly. To roll to loving you. Grace. Clear <laughs> uh, uh so with the plus one that is uh i rolled that's a nine a nine cool so yeah um uh i think she will um um uh nod and um and say um yes very well let us um let us make a uh, let us make a date of it then, um, and she will kind of um, and she will she will sort of smile. Um, I think the, the the two the two other people sort of sat at the uh, at the table will kind of you know lightly glower at you, but you know, um, um, uh, she also um, if uh, um, I am. Uh, uh, I'm staying at the um, um, at the um, uh, um, apprentice halls um, in the uh, um, in the um, upper city. Uh, if you would like to call on me um, uh, at, um, and you know, she'll give you the time. Um, it's probably like it's probably like at five o'clock sort of thing. Um, I will be uh, I will be uh, happy to um, I will be happy to go with you. Um, yeah and um so i think what uh so on a on a um on a seven to nine uh you you do also owe them a favor um i in this case i think that's more just going to be something i'm going to hold over it's, it's probably not in in she probably doesn't necessarily consider you owing her a favor but she'll probably you know put put um make some sort of request of you at some point or or generally get in, uh, deeper involved with you in some way um but yeah the um um she will oh of, and she will say um could you um if you would uh, if you wouldn't mind if you could please uh um wear a um um a hat uh, with a red feather and um a um um, and a uh, um, a carnation uh, in your lapel. Um, that would be delightful. Um, Caliban nods in approval, committing the the uh, the faces of the two uh, other suitors at the table to memory, so he can destroy them later. Excellent. <clears throat> I will see you on a Tuesday between five and eight. Let us meet at the, uh, the moonlit lake uh, on the upper palestrades. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, yeah, and I I liked, um, I liked Stephen's uh, idea of, of um, uh, no, was it, was it Stephen? Whoever had the idea anyway just now of, of yeah, framing this like a um 
uh, like the traveling scene and just each taking it in turn to to give like a little snapshot of the date in progress if people are cool with that um and, and kind of your um uh, you know as, as yeah you're, you're sort of the rest of you are doing the kind of um um what's the word i'm looking for um Aging. yes uh serrano de bergerac that's it this thing um uh so yeah um so yeah we will frame this up like a um uh like the traveling move so each uh each of you will set up a um like a problem or a an obstacle or a, a, a just a single moment in the uh, in the ongoing date and then pick someone to answer that and then set up the next one so on and so forth around the uh, around the table um does anyone wish to start things off i think just that i say uh caliban will come back <laughs> and look at faithy and said ha well challenge was simple i have achieved um you've achieved said, nothing yet and it says and now when my guards kill those two suitors she will be mine no don't do that don't don't, yeah, don't do that let's, we, let's we can talk about work. the guards later yeah. let's let's yeah. just focus on mm. on 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 the problem at and for now <laughs> mm. you, you can bring this up later at the ne next meeting yeah. And we will discuss it then. <laughs> yeah. Now this is where it gets tricky. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's all I got right now. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay. So uh, yeah, no, I was gonna say yeah. So if someone, if yeah, if someone wants to, um, yeah, set up the first first uh, obstacle and um, uh, we'll um, and and yeah, and then nominate someone to answer it, and and um, we will carry on with that. Yeah, I think that, like. the weather like turns inclement and like sweeps the hat off of off of Caliban's head. Sibylla, how do you how do you like handle this? Right. And and she was really specific. Uh, what kind of hat was it again? It was a a hat with a red feather. Yeah, I think uh Sabala says, don't worry, I have a backup. In fact, I have a better hat for you. And it's, the feather is huge. It's like three feet long <laughs> and really wide. And says, so you can make a statement. I heard bigger is better. I don't know what they mean by that, but here you go. And then puts it on your head. You look amazing. <clears throat> And uh, I think what I want to ask, uh, Phaethon, there is a moment of doubt um, that you see in Caliban. Uh, what do you do to assure them that they can handle this? Uh, hmm. I think... Um, I think it, it, it's like, uh, I mean, I think it's definitely, um, so I think as the, like maybe they're, the two of them are walking uh, and like, it, it's like there's an awkward, uh, the two of them being uh, Neptune and Caliban, I mean, uh, and that is a bit of an awkward silence. Uh, and uh And uh, there, there's a, uh, there's a, I think Caliban uh, briefly uh, will pass a sign, so uh, see a sign, uh, like in a shop window, uh, that says uh, 
ask her about birds. You'll be fine. <laughs> Um, Caliban, um, I think, uh, she has some challenging thoughts on birds. Uh, what, what, what is something, uh, you, she says that you, or just in general, what is something she says that you, like, vehemently disagree with? And how do you handle that? It doesn't have to be about birds, but, like... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you want me to, to, uh, do I want me to answer that? Oh yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, so works. I think, yeah, that's fine. I, I think I think we'll probably uh, we'll probably uh, meet at the fountain, and she'll make a comment about the feather, um, which she probably describes as ostentatious and does not care for the bird that it comes from, which is maybe a, a, a rock, um, and and Caliban has to bite their tongue because one Sabala gifted this to him. Sabala told him that he looks uh, um, uh, uh, um, fancy in it. So this woman, as well as being a poser, already has poor tastes. So Caliban is really thinking to the point that the best thing to do is just to destroy her utterly at this point. So he balances that out, not to let down the team. <clears throat> Um, it's, I think this would be a good time, actually, for me to use that new um, uh, move, which is lost it. Let me get into the sheet and find it. If I choose, uh, it's how dare you? If I choose uh, not. Uh, if I choose not to respond, I can ask two questions from the look closely without making uh, a roll. Sure thing. Um, so I think what I find the look closely list. Um, uh, um, Um, I th think I want uh, her to tell me about the way that we can get into the Harbinger's libraries. Caliban uh, uh, awkwardly but effectively moves the conversation that way. So I'll ask that as the first question. Yeah, and I think um, I think that. Um, I that I have a pitch. I'm just mm -hmm. curious to yeah. that you do not steer the conversation that way, but that but that like this is her. I know. I know a private place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, and I think she will. And I think as yeah, she will kind of say, well, um, my um, I'm actually. Uh, um, I actually have quite an important role uh, within the um, the Ordo Noctis, if, um, if you must know. I'm uh, I'm um, uh, I'm chief um, assistant. Uh, I'm yes, I'm the uh, um, just say I'm the uh, chief um, assistant. I've um, uh, chief assistant library monitor. Um, I can get into the library anytime I like, and she'll kind of like um, hold up a little bunch of keys she's got with with obvious uh, obvious pride on her face. Um. Gosh, a playwright such as I uh, would love to see inside such a library, if only. <clears throat> well, 
perhaps, perhaps, I mean, it, truthfully, it should only really be members of the, uh, of the Ordo Noctis who go inside, but well, we can, you know, with my, I have my discretion to, uh, to, to let people in. Um, so I could, I'm sure we could, uh, we could go in for, um, um, uh, and, um, uh, at some point and uh, um, browse the stacks together. Um, and then my second question is going to be, tell me about Gilded Swan. What are they doing? What will they do next? Go, someone as important as you must see the wonderful Gilded Swan so often. Their graciousness is inspiring. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I've, I've, spoken to gilded swan uh, several times uh, um uh, uh, and um and well my father is um is a very close friend of his um don't you know and um but they they um uh, he's he's obviously he's frequently down in the libraries himself um uh, studying the the old uh, um the old um uh, the old tomes and um and prophecies I've heard that he is close to bringing about the um, uh, the, um, the the uh, the 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 great uh, the great convocation that will see the um, uh, the final aspects of our great prophecies come to fruition, and um, he is. Working, uh, he is working towards that with the, um, well, it's, it's um, getting, getting closer every day, I'm told. The, um, when he, when he finally has the, uh, uh, when he finally um, rouses the dragons from their slumber, um, well, things, Things will be very exciting. Hmm. I, I I need to travel that question uh, on at that point now, don't I, to Sabla? Um, I think it was um, Ossian, actually, who hasn't... Oh, sorry, you, yeah, you mean um, about the dragons specifically? Yeah, yeah cool. Sorry, my cable came out then. Um, so, I think the question is: is after that revelation, um, that that is probably enough to to start provoking Caliban out of the disguise. Uh, and I want to know what, if anything, uh, Ossian does to calm Caliban back down. Oh. I kind of want to say that, like, I, I, like, a giant dog appears, <laughs> and just, and just, like, I'm probably, it's probably is just the giant wolf form, just like in, in like a more cuddly and cute looking mode, and, and like, it both distracts your date from what's going on, but, but it also, but I'm also really trying to play up the cuddly and cute aspect of, of my, of my giant wolf form. <laughs> and kind of look at your face. It's it's I I like technically we're brothers, so it's weird. But I'm in my giant dog form, so you know, it's a thing. How how could I resist that <laughs> face? Thinks Caliban, uh, uh, and and takes his hand off uh, the sword, um, and decides instead he shall just speak harshly to her and demand <laughs> what he requires instead. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to well speak harshly with uh, iron, please, <laughs> rather than making a cut on her. So you've succeeded <laughs> from a certain point of view. Yeah, awesome. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, well, um, how, how does this look? What 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 do you what do you say? Uh, what do you say to her? 
Uh, well, I'm going to ask, I suppose I need to know how many questions I can ask. So I get to do what I want to uh, begin with. Uh, so that is uh, six, seven, that's an eight. So uh, on uh, seven plus, I can ask uh, two questions from the list they must uh uh, so it's what she just revealed about the, her her um, her um, uh, uh, her father and the scrolls. <clears throat> Caliban Caliban holds back his temper and just uses the emotionally inaccessible tone of Fathian to ask her, "What is she hiding from me about the uh, uh, her father and the dragons?" <clears throat> Said, "I am I am interested greatly. The dragons are gone." Well, and she kind of looks around and and um, um, and uh, you know le leans in a little bit, um, possibly even puts a uh, puts a hand um, on your uh, on your shoulder as she does, and she says, "Really, I I shouldn't I shouldn't say, but well, um, my my father is um, uh, one of the foremost." Um, uh, experts on uh, draconology uh, within the Ordo Noctis and he has been investigating um, uh, one of the um, uh, a series of caves in the um, uh, in the Iron Ridge Mountains um, which it is said one of the ancient dragons still resides there and well he has apparently made contact with them and maybe soon they will be joining our cause what is your cause mm, your hair looks nice <laughs> and um and she she kind of says the the empire has been a useful tool for us for some time um Rudyard, for many many centuries but their usefulness is coming to an end and soon we will take our rightful place uh in in um uh, in charge um i i promise you we will do a better job than the uh, the foolish royals who fritter away their power at the moment yeah that'll do it so uh caliban tears off his disguise uh, and uses uh the trap ability uh that effectively uh the, the the ground she's standing on a magical cage erupts around her and goes fool it is i caliban the moon prince <laughs> your betrayal will be punished and he'll I take whine. back he'll take back the play going ha you believe these lines i am power <laughs> we will Free the dragons from your grip and free my mother. <laughs> kind of, look, I'm kind of like over. I'm a giant dog still, but I'm sort of trying to do the small dog like tugging at your pant leg. Uh, I, <laughs> he, he looks over at the crew looking for recognition of success. <laughs> and Savala is like, but, 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 um. <laughs> Faithen zaps him with like a little burst of lightning, not enough to actually hurt. Yeah, but, I kind like, of grab you, grab you up with my, grab you up, toss you onto my back, and run off. <laughs> no, she's a traitor. Let me destroy her. Just a little destroying. <laughs> and I come up and uh, I open the cage. I, I apologize. Uh, sometimes they. Uh, they just lose track of who and what they are. You know, it's a, uh, uh, and I'm trying to make up a, a lie. <laughs> and I'm going to say, I'm not very good at this, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to use my dragon magic. Um, blessing of glory for someone to listen to you when you talk sense to them. 
Um, so Sorry, I'm, to... I didn't, I was muted. Uh, yeah, no, awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, so if you'd like to, um, if, you, yeah, if you're trying to trick them, that will be with, um, uh, with uh, Grace, I believe. Okay, okay. How's my Grace? Okay, checking. Grace is one. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to say anything else. All right, so... You don't also confess that, that like you're, oh, go ahead. Uh -huh. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You don't also confess that like you're a dragon and that like this rogue harbinger is traveling with you. Oh, that's right. That's a, that's a good, but my grace is actually pretty good because my, my wisdom is not, so. Um, yeah, I got a seven, seven plus. They do as you ask to the best of their ability. Um, and what I'm asking is just to forgive them and like just see this as a momentary lapse due to um a little too much nut juice that they drank uh you know out of nervousness before the date um but yeah i please just just don't let him don't let him come for me or my family i i Oh, um, and Savile is desperately trying to remember. This is like a good person or a bad person, but Feyafan came from these people, but then what's going on? Um, but then Savile says without thinking, don't worry, your family will be safe, I promise. I'd be more worried about uh, what the orders gonna do when they inevitably find out you've been spilling their secrets to strangers um just I think, a thought i think what Faithon meant to say was perhaps you should reconsider right Faithon? maybe what i was saying joining is maybe a rebellion <laughs> So yeah, I used to be one of the uh, order. Uh, fun fun fact. Um, I'm I'm not anymore. Uh, I would be happy to answer questions about that because we have pamphlets, and I push out a pamphlet. Yeah, no. Um, they they will find out. Uh, you should get your family out of town. <sighs> Okay, thank you. Um, I'll I'll do that. Um, yeah, um, we'll give you an address. Uh, we'll we'll keep you safe. I say it. I, I the pamphlets are like just made. I made them like last night, and they're not. They're just kind of crude. Awesome. Just drawn oh. in crayon. Yeah, yeah. basically. Cool. Uh, here's. Uh, uh, if you ever want to ask me anything, uh, here's my number, and Faithan hands her a little piece of paper with the number five on it. Nice. Um, awesome, yeah. Um, so I think for that, uh, both um, um, both Faithan and um, uh, Sabala can take a bond on uh, Apprentice Nepta. Um, she uh so she which will m turn her into a companion um and the how do you spell that uh n e p t a is how i've been spelling it um uh and i think her stat will be um uh we'll call her a naive revolutionary Awesome. Um, and I think we'll take another quick break here, just probably just five minutes this time, and uh, then we'll get back and uh, see where things, uh, where things go next. Awesome. See ya. Cool. So welcome back, everyone. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, you, um, 
you have a, a new, if somewhat reluctant, recruit to the cause, um, and um, you have some information to act on. Though you, you you obviously know that the the you you have uh, access to the library um, in the uh, um, for the um, the, the um, the library of the Ordo Noctis in the city um, and you also have information of a uh, an expedition uh, into researching dragons uh, out in the Ironspine Mountains. Um, uh, so I guess my question uh, to you all is what would you like to do next? I'd probably like a scene with Ossian which is the, the repercussions of what just happened. Yeah sure thing sure thing. Yeah, and I think I've kind of dragged you off to like a uh, out of the way, out of the way alley, and I've uh, kind of reverted back to my to my, my human form. Uh, is does does is Ossian still shouting about? Uh, how somebody needs to be like smited or something like that. I think Caliban is is <clears throat> waiting. It's like uh, sort of look. Her. Okay, what's the plan? I have her captured. Um, uh, are we to go after her family while the others take care of the traitor? I no, that's that's not how how we do things, Caliban. We don't go after people's families. We're not the, well, we aren't the Empire. Nor is she. Her and her order have corrupted the Empire, and now they're trying to enslave the dragons. <clears throat> she threatens our family, Ossian. Everything I have done, I do for our family. I really wouldn't worry about her. She's. I, I don't think you're irrelevant. here right now. Oh, the, oh, this isn't okay. Uh. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, so, uh. Yeah, I was confused about the framing. Yeah, I think. Um. Anyway, we were at. Yeah. Um. Look, I. I understand wanting, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, I, I understand wanting to protect our family, Caliban, but uh, how many, how many people do you think that the Empire's actions have threat, how, how many families the Empire's actions have threatened? I can't just we, I can't just stand by and allow that to happen. Without the empire, there would be no safety on the roads and the worlds. I do not understand what you mean. We keep the ways alight. <clears throat> it's safety predicated upon killing, and I don't. I don't believe that if I were to return like you want me to, then I would that I would find anything there but my own death as well. Uh, do, you think, those... do you think mother would want us? Do you think mother would want me back? I think those words sort of hit Caliban hard, and you can see him look visibly uh, scared and upset. <clears throat> I believe. I believe my mother, our mother, would have welcomed you back, but not until we have dealt with this corruption. <clears throat> Gilded Swan is our enemy, and I will stand by your side until this is done. <clears throat> I hope that is enough. I I hope so as well, but 
put for the record, if it was ever a choice between you or our mother, Ossian, I would choose you. Thank you, and I, I know that the last time I ran, I, I just left you here alone. And if I were to do that again, I wouldn't want to run without you. Those words mean more than you can possibly understand. And I thank you for giving me a few hours of pretend, making me pretend that I was normal again. I give you my word that that woman and her family will be unharmed as long as they no longer return to the Empire and I do not see them acting against our mother. If they do, then I will act. Thank you, Caliban. <clears throat> I'm happy to close that scene. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Is it, no, that's, that uh, was really nice. Yeah. Um, cool. And I think you can um, both take uh, a um, uh, bond, is that the right word, of each other for, yeah. for that scene. Um, I think if it's okay with you both, uh, I'd like the like the last shot of that scene to be the iBat uh sort of <laughs> floating uh flying uh, away from uh where they were talking. <laughs> if, if it's okay that fit. I mean mm. okay for That's players fine, that sure. Phantom was listening, yeah. Nice. Um so um uh, so yeah, no, that was that was cool. Uh, so yeah, um, does does anyone else have um, have like a, a, a scene with another character they would like to to frame up, um, or do we want to move on to sort of um, uh, the next sort of a procedural moment in our story? No, cool. So yeah, um, in which case, yeah, I guess, um, what uh, what do you think is the the next stage in your plans? Um, do you um, are, are you going to go after the the library as originally planned, um, or uh, something else? No, we must we must go to the mountain and save the dragons from the harbingers' uh, enslavement. Yeah, is that not correct, Sabala? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, that's right. And uh, I think everyone will have noticed that Savala has been kind of despondent and, and uh, unnaturally quiet. Faith then is also sort of back in silent brooding mode, but that's much less uh, out of the ordinary. <laughs> silent snarking. I thought, Sabala, that you would have been happier that we were going on this quest. Is there something you are hiding from us? Smile. Did you say smile out loud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then he smiles. He's reminding himself what it is to, uh, to participate in a friend-like conversation rather than barked orders. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, Sabala will pause and say, I, I'm just, I, I've never met another dragon aside from my father. And I don't know if mom counts. Um, she's kind of dead. Um, but uh, I'm just, what if they don't like me? Caliban will pat Sabala on the hand and says, hmm, your family may not like you, but you will always have friends. 
Yes, that's that's true. That is very true. Why would they not like you? I have I been dragony enough? I don't I don't really know. Dad doesn't want to talk about that kind of stuff and like I don't know. Um what if I show up and I do the wrong thing? I mean, you tried really hard today, Caliban, and Phaethan helped you and things still didn't go. Uh, I mean, they went really well. Today went really well for you. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, Positive reinforcement. <laughs> yes. They, uh, and Savila's like <laughs> struggling because a dragon never lies. <laughs> but like, I, um, I, un I uncovered a threat to the empire. Uh, I uh, uh, caged a duplicitous spy and have a new hat. Yes. Today was a good day. It was, it was a good day. Yeah, and, and, yeah, it'll be okay. I, I will impress them. I have, um, I can practice being a dragon on the way up the mountain. It should be okay. <clears throat> well, should we perhaps then not go straight there? Should we go to the library and uh, uh, confiscate all of their forbidden lore on dragons? Perhaps oh. then you could learn what a dragon truly is. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, I think we could have enough time to do both. We could just hit the library really fast and really hard. <clears throat> is Phaethon just creeping around this scene as well? <laughs> Phaethon is not even visibly paying attention. Uh, he's probably, like, e even for brooding, he's, like, even for broody Phaethon, he seems uh, extra uh, out of it. Hey, Phaethon, are you okay? I'm great. And then Sabala like comes to the library. really close. Uh, Let's go to the library. Okay. Oh, Phaethon, you know what? I was watching Calvin and I was thinking it's time we go on a date. But don't worry. Um, after we come back from the mountains, I'll plan it out. The perfect date. Yeah. After we come back from the mountains. Oh, you're not arguing. Yes, that's great. Perfect. <sighs> the infant and climbs up again. Is... Awesome. Um, yeah, so um, um, I think we'll just uh, We'll frame up the the um, the library. In fact, we'll probably we'll probably get um, and, and this probably won't be a, a hugely in like uh, lengthy scene. I don't imagine, um, but yeah, the um, um, the the library is um, uh, as I say, it's in the 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 upper upper districts of the city. Um, Though it is, um, it's actually it is less uh, less well lit than um, than than some of the other uh, so than, than than the rest of it. Sort of the neighbourhoods around it. it. It has a bit more like natural gloom to it in the uh, in the in the in the um, evenings, um, uh, and um, it's a tall um, a tall tower. Um, made of uh, dark gray stone um uh fairly again in keeping with the the sort of general architecture it's got those kind of um like quite sharp uh sort of art deco lines to it um but isn't like um particularly fancy in, in construction but it's quite elegant um um so um yeah i i guess um um 
Uh, Faith, and do you want to tell us a little bit about this library? Yeah, so um, the uh, so uh, I, I'm. Do you mean just like uh, general, like architecture, or just oh, yeah, any yeah. details? Any, or any details you want yeah. to add, really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, the ordering system for the books is like incredibly complicated and borderline nonsensical. Um, it, it is very difficult to actually find a specific thing if you don't uh, know like the all the specific rules um but uh, like other than but uh sort of it, it while it is like lightly guarded there's generally not a lot of people if anybody in there um it is not typically a place where harbinger it is a place where harbingers come to retrieve knowledge uh but they don't stay there to study it um and so it's it's doesn't it's not it does not it's not very accommodating uh, in that sense like the 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 spaces between shelves are very narrow uh and the whole place just feels uh you know notably just um unwelcoming and oppressive Sure thing. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah. So um, you you have uh, you have a key to get you in. Um, you you will probably be aware um, there is probably there, there is probably some requirement to like invoke magic and stuff whilst whilst using the key, but that's something that's easy for you to do um it's it's not a complicated thing it's just the kind of you know the 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 the, the magical equivalent of having like a um uh you know a a, a a key card and a number punch on on the door sort of thing rather than um um uh the um a um Nepta can accompany you if you wish her to but she she won't volunteer to but but will come if asked um uh but yeah um have have people brought Nepta along or is she um, Faithen isn't about to ask uh, mm -hmm. her, but he's not going to protest if somebody else does. Yeah, I think at most, Sabala will just make sure that Nepta is um, safe and getting used to things, but I don't think Sabala would want to um, have them come along for a mission that could get them into trouble. So. Sure thing. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, the uh, so yeah. Also, the whole like, uh, uh, Caliban literally just telling me like I don't want to see her again or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, that is fair. That is very fair. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, you will. Um. um so um. I guess um, I guess uh, my question is going to be: Who do you think is going to be um, leading leading you into the uh, into the library? Um, who's going to be taking point on this? Uh, Faithen will take point on like getting in, but then once they're in, he is going to go up. Uh, try to go off in his own direction to search for a very specific town. Sure thing, sure thing. Um, okay, so yeah, in fact, in which case, uh, Faith, and if you'd like to describe sort of how how you're um, how you are getting in to the uh, to to the library um, and what that looks like as you're sort of making your entrance, uh, leading the others in, and we'll take things from there. 
Uh, yeah, so like the, the, the ritual to open the door is a long series of uh, like specific gestures and like uh, tapping a specific brick three times uh, and um, rotating the, the rock by the door 90 degrees uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, and there's like more stuff like that inside like there's a couple of uh like like there's i think there 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 are probably like i i feel like this is maybe a place you can get to like other things besides the library uh it, like it like it has some conne connections to uh, other order uh buildings but uh like, so to get to the library, you have to pass through, like, three of these annoying ritual doors um, that each have a different, like, 20-step sequence. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, so I think... Um, Yeah, so I think I'm going to ask you to make a getaway roll, if I can. Um, and uh, do you... Yeah, I think that's that's what we'll go for. Um... Okay. Um, that's plus grace, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't suppose I'm getting helped with this one. Uh, um, I uh, think I think this I think it's fair. I think you probably are getting getting the assistance of um, yeah. because this is kind yeah. of a group activity. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that is a ten. Ten, perfect. So you get to uh, choose um, two things from the list. So. Uh, you get there quickly, avoiding any harm along the way. You get there quietly, drawing no attention, um, and you grab someone nearby and bring them with you. How does that last one apply here? Does that mean, like, if I want Ossian and Sabala and Caliban to be able to follow me, uh, I need to choose that one? Or yes, that's probably, you probably will need to. Sort of pick, you probably will need to pick that one to, to kind of get the whole group through uh, safely. Okay. Um, it's tempting not to pick that one, but I will. Um, and uh, we'll get there quietly, drawing no attention. I mean, you and Sabala haven't gotten a lot of camera time this session, so if you want. <laughs> um, I, I mean, Faithen does want to go off into the stacks. Uh, uh, th there's, a, there's a specific thing I have in mind, uh, but... Um, it, you know, he also wouldn't want to, uh, like, just kind of abandon them before they can get into the library. Yeah. If nothing no, else, yeah. that would draw suspicion. Yeah, no, exactly. This this is more more for, for the actual getting into the library itself that I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. So, so yeah, that, that's fair. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So um, I think that's, that, no, that's great. I think, um, I think for the, um, um, for the, um, for the uh, one where you avoid any harm along the way, um, I think what I'm going to say is this is quite simple. I will ask you to mark uh, uh, mark harm on one of your stats, as I think you essentially have to um, to basically trick the the magical wards into accepting the others as sort of legitimate. Here, you have to expend um, more. Um, uh, you have to expend more, more, you know, magical power to kind of fool that. So it's going to drain you a bit. All right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll damage Grace. Seems sure thing. Um, but yes, you will manage to get them in without alerting the uh, the guards. Um, because of both the nature of how you get in and the 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 general. Um, um, you know, uh, arrogance of the other Noctis. There, there aren't like guards on the door as such. It's more like you know, there, there's, there's a, a, 
a security office somewhere where if there is a disturbance they will come out and find what's going on but that you know there is not like i'm coming through a um a reception desk where there's a guard sat there because it's you know th they assume that only people who should be here are going to be here in general um but yeah you were able to get inside the the library and as as described it's 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 very um lots of very tightly packed uh shelves this is you know this is not a this 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 is very much um i certainly that that's that's what like the the bottom floors of our university library were like just those the sort of the the, the, the those big shelves that kind of are, are on rollers and slightly side across and stuff like that but um um uh, so it's very cramped probably on lots and lots of levels going up the tower with like metal catwalks and stuff in between them it's it's clearly being designed for um well a a, a slightly odd version of practicality rather than than um uh, than beauty inside um but yeah um so um we will um um i think if um well i'll i'll, I'll let you, you sorry uh, yeah if you'd like to say what, what you want to do um so yeah if if faith and if you do want to to take this opportunity to head off on your own you certainly can um yes so uh faith is going uh to basically at the first available opportunity slip away uh to find a specific scroll uh detailing uh and because i'm not interested in keeping secrets from like the other players uh i want to be clear like uh th this would be basically a scroll detailing uh the prophecy of the dragon slayer erebus uh, which is the prophecy that Phaethon, real name Erebus, is supposed to fulfill. And he wants to take it and hide it. <laughs> cool. Brilliant. Awesome. Uh, yeah, um, I, I just made a note of that, and um, yeah, so, um, um, Sabala and the other, uh, Ossian and Caliban, um, what, what's, what's your approach to this library? How, how are you, you going to sort of say, seek out the information you, uh, you want? So he said it would be in file E, except except on a Wednesday, in which case it is three floors down and counterclockwise. What? Can we just... What does, what does, it, what does it even mean to just say counterclockwise? That's all he wrote. <laughs> but, but, oh, this is so hard. Taliban's looking around going, we're past the wards. With just an eruption of my power, I could tear this tower down. Would that be a good thing? Oh, oh uh, not, not yet. It, 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 not, not yet. But where's Phaethon, by the way? Uh, he handed me this pate note and then just kind of glowered at me and walked away. <laughs> oh, so. that sounds normal. Yeah, uh, bit, mm, mm, and then, he, and I, I think you see how Sabla's getting stressed out. How are we gonna find it? It's so complicated. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go, Mom! <laughs> I could call out my ghostly mother. Sure thing, <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> and yeah, there will again be that kind of, um, uh power sort of coalescing around you as as um um as uh the the spirit of your mother materializes in front of you uh, as as I mentioned before looking just a little bit more 
solid isn't quite the right word, but but um, you know um, the 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 kind of that glowing light that makes up her form is 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 brighter and um, probably a little more detailed. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, I say like, um, Mom, um, I uh, uh, we're looking for some stuff. Uh, uh, books, scrolls, you know, stuff about dragons. Could you help us find it? Dad said you always like reading and stuff. I think I can find what it is you seek. Um... And um, I'm, so I'm just reminding myself of exactly how uh, this this works with your thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, if yeah, so I think yeah. Um, I think yeah. If you do make the speak softly roll, and this mm -hmm. will probably be, this will probably in part be about the information that you find, um, as well. I think that makes sense. Ooh, um, nice. Yeah. Okay, so I got a wisdom is minus one, but I got an eight. So Okay. <laughs> in total, in total. So So yeah, um, you, you get to ask three questions from the list. Um yeah. and um and yeah, like I said, I think um Yeah. Yeah. No. See. I think. Yeah. I think you can. Yeah. I think you can ask the questions, and we'll work out that kind of how they, how they relate to get, finding out the information you need in here and and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or unless like um, it is about her finding the information, but it's the kind of dragon information we get. Yeah. Yeah. Would that, like, would that make sense? Because like I'm thinking like, uh, what can they tell us about the dragons in the mountains? Um, and then the second one could be <laughs> what do they want and how could we help them get it? Um, and then the last thing is what should I be wary of when dealing with them? So. Yeah, sure thing. So, um, I think um, um, and it, I guess it could be related to how she feels about the dragons, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah, but so the um, she says the the Iron Spine Mountains were home to. Um, or home to Grayscale, master of master of war and might. He has been dormant for many, many centuries. But I would be wary of him, daughter. He is a distrustful of humans. And a a powerful dragon and well um, and well um, uh, and well aware of it. 
he seeks as you might expect dominion and conquest i would like you to find me the this correspondence they spoke of and i think that um she will be able to kind of help you decipher where where this um this um the information you need is likely to be um i am interested what um um i am interested to see how what they know of him already and what he has spoken of um and yeah um it will be able to you'll be able to um uh i think yeah you'll be able to locate where this um this information is held and as i said it is a um there is a there, there is some like general books and research on the um on the dragon um that they're after uh legends and and various stuff about the the, the iron spine mountains but there is also some um some correspondence um from um uh Nepta's father who is um um Nepta's father is uh lambent stork um uh so i will i'll just i'll sort of give you the information that you you find i'll, I'll praise it anyway and, and yeah the 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 correspondence um um basically says that yeah that that you know the, the first like few few pages and stuff are, are all about his his search for uh the correct cave and, and all of this um but when um when you have um the you get further into the details of the matter um you will find out that um the they they obviously have made contact with um grayscale and it seems to be sort of um friendly contact is 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 probably putting it in a, a slightly too positive a light but certainly non aggressive contact um with the dragon only As, ate the first messenger I exactly um you know but when um when you get through the uh the sort of the initial reports back um you actually what you will discover in here is that the um the plan to use um deep diver's tusk um in order um you you th this will make it explicit that yeah obviously the the idea of that was to enslave uh enslave the dragons but um the suggestion for that was actually from grayscale himself um uh and yeah from this it does look like at the moment he may actually be working with the um uh, with the ordo noctis voluntarily um For, for what reason you're 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 not sure but um that's that seems to be the uh, the gist of things so far yeah i think when sabala goes over that um they'll turn to austin and caliban and and look obviously confused why why would he want to enslave the dragons this is I don't understand. And I am glad that you do not. But he is a power. You are a power. And you are a power capable of threatening the Empress's hold. <clears throat> you should not belong to anyone, Sabala. Yeah, I 
I, you know what, we'll just talk to him and convince him that there's another way. I'm, I'm sure of it. He just probably hasn't met a dragon like me yet. And once he meets me and he knows about the rebellion, he'll change his mind. I'm sure of it. When, if you cannot change their mind, then I will act. Well, let's just, let's just hope it doesn't have to come to that, I guess. And Ossie and I think in the audience we can see is, I don't know if you, you can say if you think Savla picks up on it or not, but I think Ossian is kind of like, I'm, look, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure once you get a chance to talk with them, well, things will work themselves out, Sibylla. Yeah, yeah, I, it'll be okay. We have each other. It'll be fine. Awesome. And I think on that note is where we will leave things for today. Uh, that Ooh, seems a, a or do we see them with up. this last such a phaethon like getting the scroll or something? Or... <laughs> uh, I think it, it's a shot of uh, him holding the scroll and it just uh, catches fire in his hands and, you know, burns up. Nice. Scatters nice. the ashes. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Awesome, yeah. Sorry, yes, I, I, I did meant to check in with that first, but yes, uh, cool. I think that's where we'll, we'll leave things for today. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. That was a, it was a good, fun session. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording now. So if you have been watching, then uh, goodbye. <laughs>